Hey guys, I'm Dr. Antonio Gurley. And I'm Dr. Michelle Gurley. Today we're going to be going over progressions for the hip hinge and how it applies to working up to a kettlebell swing. So one of the first steps that I like to give patients and clients for teaching them how to do a hip hinge is foundations training. And this is going to be the founder's position. It's kind of their basic uh, position to teach the individual to the difference of bending at the hip versus the low back. So when Michelle's going to do her feet are going to be roughly hip width apart, toes are facing straight. She's going to rotate her palms so they're fo facing uh, forward in front of her and she's going to draw her shoulder blades back and down. So we're not shrugging here, we're just pulling them straight back. And I like to do a little elbow bend so it, it kind of enhances that shoulder uh, retraction position. So our hands are going to be down by our side, uh, facing forward, and what she's going to do from here is she's going to unlock her knees slightly, and what that does is that also unlocks her hips. From here, she's going to leave that knee angle exactly where it's at. She's going to start to descend forward as she counterbalances by shooting her bottom backwards towards the wall behind her, trying to achieve roughly about 45 degrees from the, uh, from the horizon. So she's a little, so I'm going to bring her up just a little bit right there. She has a nice arch in her back. Uh, it's solid there and all the load now is being put into her glutes and her hamstrings from here. So what she's going to do is she's going to take some nice deep breaths into her belly from here. To increase the stimulus now, what we're going to have her do, everything's going to remain exactly how it is and she's going to reach her fingertips forward, thumbs facing the ceiling from here. So as you can tell, her shoulders aren't shrugging up, her shoulder blades are still pulled down and back, um, which is just engaging the scaps, which still allows her to uh, bring her arms up into forward flexion. So this increases the stimulus into the low back as well as the glutes and hamstrings as we start to dissociate the difference between movement in the hips and the low back. From here, she's going to slowly lower her arms, squeeze her glutes as she stands up, kind of like you would do with a deadlift. foundations, founders, positions.